Hello, I'm David Nemeshazi and I'm the lead architect at NextSync. NextSync is the leader in the digital employee experience space. In fact, before NextSync, many companies in the industry, big corporations, their IT was not able to understand what their employees were facing. Now, NextSync is bringing that to a new level because we are really putting our information, insights, all the gathering of information that we do from the point of view of the employee. This allows those IT departments to be proactive, to mix sentiment of the employees with our data that we collect, but also we can proactively remediate problems thanks to our, our software that we ship to our customers. We started to think of using the cloud four years ago when we started to want to address much bigger companies. And the software we have, as I can explain as, uh, from an architecture point of view, the software we were selling on-premise is a complex software with tens to hundreds of servers that our clients needed to install. And at that time, we, as we wanted to reach to bigger companies, we needed to improve the industrialization of this deployment, the troubleshooting, the monitoring, because those companies, they expect enterprise level software. So that's one of the key points that made us move to the cloud. So that in the cloud, we wanted, we started by lift and shifting the software for our customers, but at least on AWS, we have a unified infrastructure that we control. And it was then much easier to automate, to industrialize the deployment of the application. After we have migrated to the cloud, one of the big benefits that from NextSync we see is really about the scale that we can now target. Thanks to being in the cloud, we have deployed our solution to 10 regions worldwide. And as we are addressing bigger and bigger corporations, also government agencies, we have now customers that can range between 100,000 employees to even up to a million employees. From an operational point of view, it is way easier now because we control when we release our software. We have all the monitoring tools, all the observability within the cloud directly. Before the cloud, we had to rely on customers' willingness to send us some telemetry data and build our own systems to merge this data and, and kind of manage and massage to extract information. Now we can do that totally under our own control uh, thanks to being in the cloud. Two most important outcomes for NextSync to be using AWS is about all the managed services that AWS offers and the speed at which AWS is uh, updating and adding new features to those managed services. One example is the recent addition of Carpenter to Kubernetes for auto-scaling that we plan to use. And the other important uh, outcome is the professional services and the solution consulting that has been very helpful in our journey so far. By moving to the cloud, we transform our business to become an um, on-premise product uh, software vendor to a SaaS company. And this brought a lot of business opportunities because thanks to that, we could reach a lot more companies worldwide. From a business perspective, the journey to move from on-prem to SaaS took also some time, but was very successful. It led to huge growth that led last year NextSync to become a unicorn. <laughs>